Welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 46 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the compare validator control in ASP.NET. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch parts 44 and 45 of this video series. Compare validator control is used to compare the value of one control with the value of another control or a constant value. The comparison operation can be any of the following. Equal greater than, greater than, equal, less than, less than, equal, not equal, data type check. Compare validator can also be used for data type checking. We'll look at an examples of each of these. Now, when we try to register with any of the websites, usually it, it will ask us to enter username, then password, uh, retype password. If the password and retype password fields does not match, you know, we get a validation error message stating password and retype password must match as you can see on the screen. Now let us see how to achieve this using compare validator control. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I have the web form already designed just to save some time and it's a simple HTML where you have password text, a text box, retype password and a text box. Okay, now let's drag and drop uh, a request a compare validator next to this retype password text box. So let's flip to the source mode. So here I want the compare validator uh, validation control. So let's drag and drop that there. Okay, let's give this compare validator a meaningful ID. Since it's comparing passwords, I'm going to call this compare validator passwords. Run it is equal to server and let's give it a meaningful error message. The error message that we want is password and retype password must match. And what are the other properties? If you look at what we want, we want the password and compare password, I mean retype password to be compared. So the first thing that we have to specify here is the control to validate property. So which control are we validating here? We are validating txt retype password text box. Okay, and we want the value within this text box to be compared with the value in txt password text box. And to tell that, we can use control to compare property. So control, control to compare is txt password. So now the value in these two text boxes will be compared with each other. But how will the comparison be done? Will they be compared for equality or greater than, greater than, equal to. So which comparison operation will you do? How will you specify that using the operator property of the compare validator control? So operator is equal to, we want to compare for equality. If they are equal, that's fine. If they are not equal, then validation should fail. And another thing that we have to specify is the data type. So which data types are you comparing? Are there strings, date times? What's the data type? Here, in our case, a password is a string data type. Okay. And one more small thing that we have to do, we know that password and retype passwords should be masked. So let's set the property of the text box control, uh, text mode property, to password so that whatever the user types that will be masked and the final thing let's change the full color of the validation control to red and we can do that in the designer or in the HTML okay so that's it and if you look at the button here when I click the button we have the event handler here if the page dot is valid property returns true we know that the validation has succeeded and we know that page dot is valid property is going to return true if all the validation controls has succeeded validation in which case we want to write adio.net code to save the data but here we are just displaying the status message data saved and then we are setting the color of the label control to green whereas if the valid is valid property returns false then it comes to the else block in which case we know that at least one validation controls have failed validation. So we have, we want to display that error message, validation failed, data not saved, and the label color is set to red there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this form and see if the validation is working as expected. So once we type a password, and if retype password doesn't match with that, so I am typing the password as test, but I am typing the retype password as best. Let's see if they match. They don't match and we get the error message. Let me try, uh, type in the matching password and look at that, the error message goes away. So we can use, in this example, we have just seen how to use compare validator to compare the value of one control with the value of another control. Now let us see how to compare the value of one control with a constant value. Now that we will do using date of application text box. So if you look at you know the web form design here, I have a text box where the user can enter date of application. Now the rule is that 
the date of application date should be greater than or equal to you know 1 1 2012 so I want to compare the date that user enters in this text box with that constant value. So let us see how to do that using the compare validator control. So let's drag and drop the compare validator control next to this uh, text box. So we have that compare validator. Let's flip to the source mode and change the properties. So this compare validator is actually uh, you know, comparing date of application. So I'm going to call that compare validator date of application. Run it is equal to server. And let's give it a meaningful error message. So date of application must be greater than 01-01-2012. So that's the error message. Now which control are we validating here? We are validating txt date of application. And remember here we don't have another control to compare. We want to compare with a constant value and to do that we use a property called value to compare. So value to compare is equal to what's your constant value that you want to compare to 01012012. Okay so instead of control to compare we are using value, value to compare and the other properties remains the same. For example operator we need to specify what type of comparison you want to do. I want to do a greater than comparison and you also have to specify the data type. So what's the data type that you are comparing here? In this case it's going to be a date. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and run this and see if our validation works as expected. Now the idea is the date of application should be greater than 1-1-2012. Now let me enter this date 1-1-2010 which is obviously less than 1-1-2012. Let me try to save. Look at that. Date of application must be greater than 1-1-2012. We get that error message as expected. On the other hand if I enter 2013 look at that data saved. The error message goes away as expected. And if you want the error message in red color, obviously you will set the four color property to red. Okay. Now the last example that we'll look at is we have discussed that compare validator can also be used for data type checking. I just want to ensure whatever data that the user enter matches the type that I am expecting. For example, age. I want the age to be entered by the user in a numeric, in a number format rather than in alphabets. Um, let's see how to achieve that using compare validator. Again, on this web form, we have a text box where the user can enter their age, and I want to ensure that that's an integer. So let's see how to do the data type checking using the compare validator control. So let's drag and drop the compare validator control onto the web form, and let's flip to the source to set the properties. So this is validating age. So I'm going to call this compare validator age. Run it is equal to server. Error message age must be a number. Okay, That's the error message that we want and I want the four color to be red. So let's set that and let's get this on the next line. Okay so what are, what are the other properties that we need to set? Now the first thing is the operator. Okay, so what operator, what comparison we want to do? We, we don't want to do equal greater than or greater than equal. We want to do a data type check. So I'm going to choose my operator as data type check. And obviously you have to specify the control to validate. So which control I want to validate? I want to validate txt age. Okay, and another important thing is the type. So what is the data type uh, check that you want to do? you know on which data type you want to do that how will you specify that using the type property and I am expecting an integer type so anything that the user enters into the text box uh, must be converted to integer if not then through an error message okay so let's see those are all the properties that needs to be set for data type checking okay so let's flip to the design mode let's run this and see if that works as expected so age I enter, let's say, for example, 10 alphabets. Look at that. Age must be a number. On the other hand, as soon as I enter a number, you know, click away, the error message goes away. Now another thing, look at this. If there is an error, let's say I enter 10 and I click Save button, look at that. 
it shows the error message but look at this the text box doesn't receive the focus you know what I basically want to do is whenever the validation fails you know I want the control to receive the focus automatically when the validation fails is there a way to achieve that absolutely there is a property called uh, set focus on validation failure so if you look at the properties there set focus on error by default that property is false if you set that to true then whichever control this validation control is validating it will automatically you know make that control receive the focus if the validation fails so let's run this now and keep in mind this validation control I mean this property is supported by all validation controls so if I press 10 and then click save look at that I validation failed and I still have the cursor blinking there so I can just type in backspace and then enter my correct data as expected so set focus on error property is supported by all validation controls if this property is set to true then the control will automatically receive focus when the validation fails and we have seen the properties that are specific to the compare validator control to compare the type operator and value to compare on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day